Today, we're going to go back to the beginning, back to the reason why I started this vlog and catch everyone up to speed as to where we are in the initial storyline. So for as long as I've lived here, I've always wanted to fly this drone out of that window. However, my drone has some issues and sometimes it doesn't fly as straight as it should. And it's always been concerning. But this morning we are going to find out. Bit nerve-wracking, but successful. So basically, I sit at this crossroads. I have to take one of two paths. And whichever path I take at the moment uh, will probably have ramifications for the next 10 years in a very extreme way. So in that video, I mentioned a junction in life, but I never told you what each of those paths entail. And that is what today's video is about. So. On the left hand side, the more safer path and the reason why I was in Holland was to, to scope out some opportunities. I got some really good job offers. I went to look at apartments in and around Amsterdam, um, finding where we would live and so on. And we were basically in the last hurdle of immigration actually, much like most people at the time. But at the same time, there was these opportunities that I was leaving back in South Africa. I have some friends that I studied with that I had done some work with in the past. They were starting some really interesting tech startups and there were a lot of opportunities and they were trying to, to motivate me or try to convince me to come and join the team early on. And again, with that opportunity came a lot of risk. Of course, it's a startup as well as it's a startup in South Africa at the time, which is, is definitely more risky than, the, than your very predictable life in, in Holland. So after lengthy discussions, uh, Mikhail and myself decided to actually, and that's why you've seen that we're in Cape Town now, is to take the more riskier option. Uh, it's been a wild ride and that is how I've ended up in Cape Town. But the interesting thing to the story is the why we made the decision we did. Um, and it's something that I believe some people overlook when immigrating. Super sad. Recently, I moved co-working spaces to WeWork in town and it's a little extra distance. So I have to take my scooter more than my skateboard. Uh, I took my skateboard about a month ago and I crashed straight into a taxi. So it might not be the smartest thing ever to do. One of the coolest things about working at WeWork is that you get access to this meditation or relaxation room where you lock the door, cut out everything. I mean, you can have a nap there if you want. I think people do. Really cool. So why did I choose the path I did? It can be summarized into a single thought, which is I rank a day from one to 10. When you have a, a really bad day, it's one out of 10. And when you have a really good day, it is 10 out of 10. Now, in South Africa, when you have a bad day or a hole is breaking loose, it is the worst day of your life. You come home, you shout, you scream, you're leaving the country. It's the worst day ever. But when you have a really good day, it is like 12 out of 10. You go to the mountains, you go to the ocean, you won't believe what this happened. I saw these animals. I had the best food of my life. It was really a great day. So your days are either split up between amazing days that take your breath away and really bad days that you just want to leave. So a very exciting life. But in Holland, taking that other path, what scared me most is that my days would become very predictable. The time I spent there, every day became a seven or six and a half out of 10. A bad day is never really a bad day and a good day is never really a great day. 
Um, so your life becomes really predictable and some people seek that. However, it wasn't what I was seeking at that moment, specifically me and Michaela. We wanted a bit more of an exciting time, especially when we're a bit younger. When you have a family, the, your, your values will change and your priorities will change and you might want that. But for now, South Africa seemed as exciting for us. Today just got away from me. That's what happens in winter when you're really busy, you leave in the dark and you come home in the dark. But finally home, excited to have dinner. doing I what? was gonna toast the last roll before you got home oh look at that <laughs> hey dinner with a smile mm -hmm. 